The Royals, with a win over the White Sox, can tie the Blue Jays for the top record in the American League entering the final three games of the season. That top spot would ensure home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Pick it up in the first, two on, two outs, no score. Mike Moustakis at the dish facing John Danks. Into the corner, Melky Cabrera won't get to it. And it bounces over the wall for a double, and that saved the White Sox a run. Mike Moustakis goes the other way, and the Royals do cash in the run with two down. Another two out RBI for the Royals. Here's the pitch, and Mike sends a ground ball through the hole, right side, base hit. Hosmer will score, Morales to second base. And Moose with a good game already, a pair of hits with a double, a single, and he's given Kansas City a 2-0 lead. So now it's John Gomes. Here's the pitch, a swing and a line drive. That's a base hit to center field. In comes Morales. Here comes Mike Moustakis. The throw to the plate is offline, and the Royals have taken a 4-0 lead on John Danks. Here's the 2-2, a swing and a miss, and Medlin gets the strikeout. Number three for Chris on the evening. Here's the pitch. Outside corner right at the knees down goes Garcia. Good outing tonight by Chris Medlin. He gives up just one earned run in six innings. And there it is. Congratulations to Jose Abreu on the second, being the second person ever to play in the major leagues. 30 or more home runs and 100 or more RBIs in their first two seasons. Runners second and third. Through Butera, play at the plate, and go! Oh! What a tag! And I think he had his feet in such a position that Ramirez couldn't get to the plate. The Royals take it 6-4 and coupled with the Blue Jays' loss, KC is now tied with Toronto for that top spot in the American League, which would ensure home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Kendrys Morales had to leave the game in the fifth inning with left quad tightness, and Salvador Perez had to leave the game in the eighth with a thumb injury.